Which of the following is the best to prescribe for the acute angina attack precipitated by exercise or stress? Option A. Isosorbide dinitrate. B. Nitroglycerin patch. C. Nitroglycerin sublingual tablet or spray. D. Renalazine. Angina pectoris is caused by reduced blood flow which causes ischemia to the heart muscle, or lack of oxygen to the heart, almost like the heart's being strangled which causes terrible chest pain. That chest pain is usually described as feeling like pressure or squeezing and it can radiate to the left arm, jaw, shoulders, and back, and sometimes is accompanied by shortness of breath and diaphoresis or sweating. Antianginal medications also known as nitrates. These medications are actually prodrugs, meaning that they need to be converted into their active form, called nitric oxide, before they can produce the desired effect. Once converted, nitric oxide diffuses to surrounding smooth muscle cells and stimulates guanylocyclase, thereby increasing the concentration of CGMP. Ultimately, this results in vasodilation of both veins and arteries. This way nitrates predominantly reduce preload and afterload. Ultimately, by reducing preload and afterload, nitrates reduce the amount of work the heart has to do, and eventually decrease the heart's oxygen consumption, but, at the same time, they increase oxygen delivery to heart tissue by dilating coronary arteries to a small degree. Common medications in this class include nitroglycerin, isosorbide dinitrate, and isosorbide mononitrate, which is the active metabolite of isosorbide dinitrate. Nitroglycerin can be administered sublingually, intravenously, or transdermally. The sublingual form of nitroglycerin has a rapid onset, causing a vasodilatory effect within the first three minutes after administration that lasts approximately up to 25 minutes. This makes sublingual nitroglycerin useful for the treatment and short-term prevention of an acute anginal pain. On the other hand, intravenous nitroglycerin is reserved for individuals who don't respond to sublingual nitroglycerin, while transdermal nitroglycerin is indicated for the long-term prevention of angina pectoris. In contrast to nitroglycerin, isosorbide dinitrate and isosorbide mononitrate are taken perorally but they have a longer onset of action of 15 to 30 minutes and duration of action of 6 to 10 hours, which makes them useful for the long-term prevention of angina pectoris. Common side effects of nitrates include flushing, headache, orthostatic hypotension, and reflex tachycardia, which is treated by co-administration of beta blockers. Therefore the answer is option C. If you find this video helpful, Share it with others who may find it helpful too. Subscribe MedBook for more videos like this and thanks for watching.